so guys uh, today we'll be doing a netflix application so i'll be we'll be creating this whole site okay from navigation bar to footer part so we'll create one file called clone netflix clone and next i'll create one html file that is index dot HTML and the CSS file CSS. I've taken a normal document and here I link the CSS link the external file of the CSS and I'll give the title so whatever the thing you give that I'll run and show so whatever the thing you give it will come like here so I have some links so I'll copy paste that this is from font awesome and this is some style sheets <coughs> styles which we will be using like for a font and this is the like title which have been given now and this is the icon see I'll comment this and I'll show see now the icon is not there but only the title you have got so if I unremove it this icon spelling should be also correct if you don't put properly it won't come so we will be getting the icon over there and the next thing so these are the links we will be using so next we will be I will be creating one header the navigation bar that is this one this navigation bar this navigation bar I will be creating so for that I will take header tag inside that I'll take navigation tag I'll give a class name and for that class name I'll give um, navbar and I'll go for the CSS first there's a three rules like three common things that we should give margin zero Padding zero box sizing sorry box sizing border box and next I'll give background color for body body for this body tag I'll be giving I'll be giving background color black so see you can see the changes you want to see the changes already make your screenshot minimize it and see and what is the next thing I have taken first taken navbar so dot nav bar since it is a class I have taken dot 
and so uh, first I'll give the height and uh, position position should be absolute top zero and uh, I'll give give width is equal to hundred percent or hundred VW <coughs> mm. height is equals to hundred let this be percent only percent so and the height is equals to eighty pixels background color I'll make it as blue this is for identifying I'm, I'm doing okay so you will come to know and some other properties which I'll be giving is display flex and justify content space between and z index of 10 so i'll tell you why i'll be using this okay so coming to here inside navbar i'll make this has two division that is this is one division and this is two division so I'll take two division tags that is div into two so I'll name one class as class as nav nav array and the brand or icon anything you can give inside that I'll take one one image tag so for that image tag I have an uh, URL So I'll be putting that thing. Yeah. Next. I pasted over here. So we'll see the output. So we have got the image. So I need to make it align over here. So the properties which I give for the uh, this thing is images. First I'll be giving for uh, the thing called as brand. So what all the properties so I'll be giving is. Is this uh, it is equals to some forty percent height is equals to hundred percent background color so it has covered till here I need to get my logo in this place so what I'll do I'll give the style for image tag 
so this is inside now this is a parent tag of that and that child tag is image so I'll take uh, I'll target the image tag and I'll give the height is equals to TPX it is equal to PX 200 PX is more I'll give 100 PX 150 yeah I think this is this is cool yeah this one is cool actually it is more bigger so I will make this as 100 only yeah now I will place that place that in center yeah this is fine so I will place that in center so for that again I'll give over here display flex justify content center align item center so it is align over here similarly so I will reduce it to 40 percent to 30 it is similarly aligned in the same space so now that part is done uh, the another part that is the button which I should do so for that I'll take another div so okay I've already taken right so this is done okay I just mark it and I'll make it as items or buttons whatever you may call Slash nav items. items. So inside that, I'll take two days. Two, two. Class and another class. So this one is for drop down and another one is for uh, button the sign in button okay so first one is drop down and second one is for the thing so here I'll take item 1 item 1 and I'll make this as item so there are two items in that first one is so first one will be div class as I'll give hurry up oh, drop drop down so for drop down I'll be uh, requiring this logo so this one I'm going to do this is a drop down like thing we will be dropping the thing so first I need one logo so I'll take one logo from font awesome so 
I'll be putting it here and the next is and I'll create one okay wait first I'll uh, give the styles for this one okay uh, that is like how to give the style for this the same thing which I have uh, given here applies I'll give the background color see it is here now See the logo which I have been given, it has come here. Since it is black, you, didn't, you guys didn't come to know. And I will give color as white. White, okay. So, this is just, I am giving this color just for identifying. I will lastly, I will comment, I'll comment this up. Okay. Just for your reference, I am giving. So oh, it is done. Now I need to place this here. So I told you now I have commented this. See, I'll remove this. I'll show a line by line. See, I have given space between, so it is coming. It is coming left and right. Center the space is there. So now I'll come remove of this one and so we will align this one okay now so first then next what we need to do is so this part is done item so first item so what is the first item first item first item for that for that first item uh, just I will give border yeah, wait first item inside that first item is equals to I don't need to put first item wait I'll uh, directly go to the e drop down properties over here here I'll give for drop down dot that is control C control V drop down mm, for drop down I will give background oh sorry 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 this one for background language so I will take off selection tag so selection tag so inside this will be two option first option is English and the second option is I think you can see now the second option is I'll give Canada or any language you can give since my mother tongue is Kannada I have given Kannada uh, and the next thing is 
uh, you can take yeah now I will be giving here class class as So drop down language that should be I'll make the screenshot now that should be background transparent background transparent border should be none there should be no border and if I hover on that now nah, I should not get anything so I will give outline none see so that thing is not coming so this is done and uh, the options are coming So it similarly like over like over here only, na? Yeah. And that color should be white. See, I got the color. So now what I'll do? I'll go for drop down. So now for drop down, the why I didn't give previously only now. So if you understand this, you can uh, go and give the this thing. So. white only na? white it's white only right yeah white and border sorry and it is equals to 200 px I'll make it to 100 px yeah 100 then 20 now I'll make it to 100 px so this is cool this is done done uh, right so here again I should make this to come center so I will create an another button that is called as sign in so this is item 1 is done now I will create item 2 so what is item 2 this the button and give class name as sign in sign in ok and I will put it here sign in 
I will give the size for that. Fine, I will be giving here. So, what is the uh, signing styles uh, which we can give over here is background color that should be red border red it's similar it red now so I am giving uh, red for that okay so I'll remove this one see this is down by down so at that time what I will I will do is I will take this container name what is the main parent of this container name n items so I have used it in items yeah I will already used so display flex I will give and I will give use gap and x plus I'll give and 20 px so there is a gap and here I'll use adding 10 px Oh, that is more na. Okay, eight or uh, ten px over here, and I'll use ten oh, again here. It is going. If I give ten px, it is coming like this. So again what I can do, drop down, for the drop down I can do, display, flex, display flex to justify content of Okay, so now I will increase some bit of this. This one is 200. 200 is big, so I will make it as 150. So this is cool, guys. So we will get the options. So I will make this option as drop down language option yeah. drop down language options that should be color it's in black so this is done now it should be coming down so what I can do is this parent tag is it and then so display flex where I have given in and here I'll give Justify content center and line item center. I'll give 
Okay, where it is first of all? It is here only. Then. So no. Yeah. Justify content. Left. So cool, na? This is done. Uh, yeah. For this, I'll be giving. Border radius by px. Sorry, not for this. For this one, border border radius by px. For sign in button, border radius by PX. So, this is awesome. So, I'll remove the color for this. So done, fantastic. So this is good. Similarly, na. But this buttons are bit big. Okay, fine, cool. Mm, next is uh, we'll be applying the background for this one. So this is a uh, some uh, like. I'll be uh, uh, giving the image for thing and I'll be doing this one. Okay. So uh, now we'll be going to to the main part. Okay. So uh, header is done. Now we'll be going for main part. That is, I'll take one main tag inside that. I'll take one C session tag. So I'll name it as I'll name it as class class heroes. Since I am making this page, the hero images are there, so I have taken in hero. So if it's your wish, you can give any name over here. Uh, next, I'll take inside that another div I will name it as hero image class hero image ok and I will take image tag and I will put the image tag link that is this one Done. So we'll be getting the image like this. So I need to set the height and width for this container. So first I'll be comment this and I'll be show. So first I'll be setting height and width for the hero image. So So from here, it is main. It is hero image, right? I will be giving 
50 is equal to 100 percent. percent and height is equals to 80 bhid so i'll when i give this image it will come to now so for this image i'll make that to set That is for image. What I'll give is same with this equals to hundred percent, and height should be hundred percent. See, it has come. So it is totally like similarly blur actually. It is not in proper manner. So now what I'll do is object fit cover. See, it is it's in proper position. So this is done. Now the next thing what I'll do is I'll take another div tag this is for this blurness see only this is highlighted now so this part is only highlighted for that I'll be using some CSS for that I'll take another div and I'll give class hero by overlay so this is important you guys should know this will be new for you guys so here I'll be giving first position position sorry position should be absolute and inset is zero and sorry width is equals to hundred percent and height is equals to eighty pH and background should be bag yeah background I'll give uh, background I'll give in RGB RGB RGBA that is zero 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 and zero this is zero point four I'll be doing this much then background image I'll give Linear gradient and tech. I'll copy this only. First, two top to top side. See now it is blurred. So wait. I need 
anything yeah okay 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 now i will put this to eight and i will make it as zero sorry should use comma Come again here. This point zero only should use that is sixty percent and four hundred percent. Okay, this much you should do. So now you go and see the changes. See here it is highlighted. The rest all things are blurred. So only here it is highlighted. So see, and you should also ask me like why I have used Z index of over here. See, if I don't use Z index now, nah, it will be like this. So for that, to highlight that. I'm using the index of. So, coming back to the topic. So this is done. Now we want to align this words in center. We can also make this as. One and see the changes. Zero point eight only. I make one and see the see this more dark. So I'll make it as zero point nine. I'll make. This is also good only, na? But better than that, we will make zero point eight only. It is more. Good. You can see the side like this, and now after this, so I'll take another dip. Zero. Plus zero. Zero card. So inside the zero card, I'll take one H one tag. So for that. H1 tag. I'll be giving the name as dot zero class as zero. Title and next I'll be using one paragraph tag and another paragraph tag. So this one for H one I'll be using this content. I'll put it inside. Inside here, and 
good. And leap of Indus. <coughs> so you can refresh it and check. So it is here, guys. See, it is here. So what I'll do is I'll make this as style color white. See color is coming white now so you can see. So this is what till here. Again what all the things we need. Uh, that is, uh, we need input tag and we need this too. We need input tag and right. for that, what I'll do, I'll come, I'll create one div that is called as I'll name it as email form container so inside that then I'll take one div I'll name it as class email inside that I'll take one input tag ok directly I'll take one input tag I need one input tag and the next one is I need one button that button is class get start again I put So I will be using that icon from my code, my notepad. Okay, done. So this is how it is now. I need to align this in center. So how will we aligning them in center? So uh, here see I have given. So now we will start the CSS for hero card. I will give I'll give Position should be absolute. Top twenty percent. Twenty percent. Okay. From top in the sense, see, from the top twenty percent that. Uh, wording should be and next is it should come the 
display flex. Justify content center. decoration column emeras column and I'll also give it is equal to hundred percent Has come in the center, the center portion of that thing. It has come. So this one is clear for you guys, right? So next one is we need to increase the size inside that. So. I'll be taking some height. Height is equals to hundred percent. Percent. Height is equals to some meter eighty. V H only will take. remove the height for now then I'll check later and I'll let you know guys whether we should apply the height or not then for title so for title that I have given the name called as dot so I'll give font size is equal to I'll give double XL or else I'll give some random size 30px sorry 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 for the right tag default weight there is no changes So it is ATPX. I make it as fifty PX only. It is more than enough guys. It looks pretty decent also. 
and I make this height as 50 ok it is now here then the next thing I will give here is cap plus 10px between every line there should be a gap that is 10px I am going to give and I will be you can also use font or some sorry for uh, styles uh, you can use uh, uh, font family <laughs> so I'll be giving uh, directly to the main tag so I'll show you later now for this p tag so how I'll take this it as fifty px is bigger so we'll make some ten px ten is very small we can make it as some thirty that is good enough or else you can make twenty five twenty so this is good enough guys so again we will go for this one coming to the main container I will make it as fit is equal to 100% and height is equals to some 400 300 px I'll just give the background color and check background color So this much it is taking guys, if I give background color, so I won't give any height and width, just I will be giving display flex justify content center make the task some 50 why I am making this you should guys could know what you are doing okay then again over here I'll make I'll give style I'll be using inline CSS I'll be using height as 100% 100% and with dash as 300 px so we have got so much I'll give 350 so it is good enough so 
so i'll be using css over here only na i made this a single line css so here for this one again dot here here also i can do background none none and i'll be giving the place order place order for the place order what i need is Email ID I'll give. I I'll type E M A I L A D D R E S. Spelling is correct or not? F S. Email address. I've given. So. you can see my output so it will be like this something see like this they have given js so it is showing like this i'll uh, attach js later and i'll uh, combine this video so it will be showing the output will be this so here there should be some gap so this gap is equal to 20 px and i'll also increase i'll give the height and width height is equal to 100% Width is equals to width is equals to 200 px. It's more, I think so. Yeah. No, cool. It is actually same similar. Yeah. I think I'll make this as 20. so it is good i'll give the background color background color red red and border border radius it is border radius 1 px so id also id solid e this is not border radius this is border okay i'll make border i'll use also border radius border radius 100 sorry some phi px so you get this effect Okay, so guys, this is so. Till now, here it is done. 